Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great privilege for me to honor Professor Dode on this occasion. In fact, uh, this is the highest award of the academy, and uh, you have seen in the past recognition the personalities who are associated with this. I had known Professor Dode for almost a decade now. He is, as he looks, is a real professor, more than the space technologies. And anything and everything, he has an analytical approach, he goes in depth and comes out with very practical solutions. No wonder he is uh, chosen for leading the European Space Agency. And uh, all of you know of the achievements of the European Space Agency, and uh, his contributions are immense to the space program and to the humanity. In recognition of these uh, dedicated efforts in advancing space propulsion and human space flight while promoting peaceful uses of outer space, his outstanding leadership and management of the European Space Agency and his valued contributions to advancing international cooperation through the International Academy of Astronautics the uh, Academy is pleased to honor him with his highest one common award. Thank you. I would just say a, a few words. Uh, this is a unanimous decision by the award and membership Studying committee and the unanimous decision of the board of trustees. So there is nothing to add. But um, I want exceptionally to add a few words and ask the permission to the chairman. So uh, what I want to say is that uh, Jean Jacques is well known from all of us here. Uh, he is a great engineer. We all say we all know that. Is a great researcher, research in Onera, in France, in propulsion, in Pogo effect. He is a great teacher, as I said, I can testify. He is almost an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> and he is a pillar of the European Space Agency. His personal commitment and his outstanding achievements and successes in ESA and for Europe in space is more than highly appreciated, not only by all the Europe's member states, but also by all the space nations that you represent. And all of us highly appreciate all the results, successes of Jean-Jacques and also his personal uh, behavior. Now, on a personal ground, I want to add that for me, for me personally, it is a special privilege. It's a great honor, and above all, uh, it is an immense pleasure to deliver the highest award on behalf of the International Academy of Astronautics to my old friend Jean-Jacques. Old, I mean, we are friends since a long time. <laughs> because I have personally observed Jean-Jacques since 40 years. 40 years now. And I can testify of his absolutely outstanding merits and talents. He really deserves the Von Kaman Award. Congratulations, Jean-Jacques, from all of us. I don't know why he asked me to take the diploma. <laughs> because I have only two hands. Uh, so, my uh, 
my friends, because I think that uh, we, uh, this is true that uh, I am going, coming to this Congress since uh, 1972, and I think that I have not missed a lot of the uh, Congress of the IAF. So I am always very glad to be, uh, to be uh, at the uh, International Astronomical Congress, because this is a place where I can meet friends, and I can, I can meet friends without the stress of uh, my friends of the member states. So, um, <laughs> and this is the reason why I, I take that as a, a, a real pleasure, not only an honor, because I am very much honored by this uh, award, and I am honored because of several reasons. Certainly the first one is the name, Theodore von Kerman, because uh, Together with Yannick, uh, we have been uh, uh, assistant professor on uh, mechanics and fluid mechanics. And I must say that the name of Theodor von Kerman is uh, certainly one of the most important names uh, when you are uh, working on aerodynamics and, uh, and fluid mechanics. And uh, I must say that to get, uh, to get uh, an award under the name of Theodor von Kerman is certainly uh, a great honor for me, and especially because Theodor von Kerman is certainly one of the very few persons who could have several, several lives in one lifetime. I must say that uh, when you read what Theodor von Kerman has done, uh, he has, I must say that uh, this, is, uh, this is really fantastic. And, uh, and obviously, uh, I shall never compare myself to uh, what could have done uh, Theodor von Kerman. It's an honor also because I have looked at the list of the ones who have got the awards and you have, you have uh, got the image of these uh, different personalities and I have counted. I am the searchers in the list and I like round numbers, so at least it's good that uh, I am the searchers. I am the fifth French. I am the second ISA Director General. I am the second chancellor of the International Space University, but I am the first Jean-Jacques, so at least <laughs> this is the... Uh, and uh, I have wondered why I got this award. Maybe the first reason is because I have a lot of friends in the selection committee, so... Uh, <laughs> But uh, I have tried to, to go a little bit beyond, and I have looked at uh, the selection criteria. And I have seen that the first one was outstanding uh, lifetime achievements. And I have looked at these three words, and maybe the, the most important word for me is certainly lifetime. Uh, because this is true that I have spent my life, all my life, in space. Without going to space, as uh, Yannick uh, was saying, I am still ready, by the way, there is a lot of uh, heads of agency, I am ready to go to space. <laughs> I have never got uh, a ticket, but this is true that uh, I have spent my life in space. I have, uh, I have started in space, I always said that uh, I went into the secondary school on the 1st of October 57 and to celebrate that USSR has launched Sputnik on the 4th of October and uh, I got my, uh, and this is true, you can check, my engineering degree on the 20th of July 1969 and to celebrate that Neil Armstrong has uh, stepped on the moon. <laughs> and, and this is the reason why I could not be, I could not work somewhere else than in space. And uh, I have enjoyed that so much that uh, I plan to continue. Uh, the second, the second uh, uh, criteria that I have uh, looked at is in this science. And I have looked at the science, basic science, uh, uh, engineering science, uh, uh, and uh, social science. And when I look at that, I said, okay, I am certainly not the best in any of these science. But I must say that uh, I have worked on all these science, and especially now, because I used to be an engineer, and, uh, and this is true, uh, and uh, Yannick has recalled that I 
I used to work on rocket propulsion, and uh, I like fire. <laughs> and, uh, but step by step, and now as a director general, I have forgotten basic science and engineering science, but it's a lot of social science. Uh, because I can tell you that working with uh, delegates on 20 member states, uh, you have to be an expert in social science. So uh, maybe uh, this is uh, one, the, the other reason why I got, I got that award. And I have seen the third criterion, which is the strangest, without limit of nationality. And that, I have wondered, uh, what does it mean? What could it mean? And, uh, and I think that it means that, yes, when you are working at ISA, there is no limit in the nationalities. I think that, uh, uh, and this is certainly uh, also one of the criteria which have been applied. Now, to be more serious, I think that uh, I am proud to have this, uh, this award because this is the award also of the Europe, for the European Space Agency. And the European Space Agency is a fantastic organization. Uh, I, uh, I see that every day, difficult, difficult, but very successful. We are showing every day that cooperation is possible. It's difficult, but it is possible, and at the end, very successful. And uh, I am taking uh, that uh, award also as a recognition that uh, ISA is a fantastic organization. So thank you very, very, very much. And uh, I can promise that I shall continue to do my best to deserve this award. Thank you very much. Charlie Borden to say a few words. I've been promised that uh, when I finish, you can go home. <laughs> uh, it is very special for me to be here this evening, and I want to thank you all for the opportunity to to just address, address this group. It's so pleasing for me to see many of my colleagues here, uh, people with whom I have worked since I was a kid, uh, first coming to the space program in 1980, not quite as long as, as my dear friend, Jean-Jacques. Um, I want to congratulate all of the new corresponding members and the members who will join tonight. Um, I think the last time I actually spoke at this organization was um, at the Heads of Space Agency Summit in D.C., Washington, D.C., in November 2010, almost two years ago. Uh, a lot has happened since then. I think for any of you who have followed NASA, you know that uh, we have done very well in accomplishing some priorities that we have set out. We safely completed flying out the space shuttle uh, in July of 2011, and now we're setting our sights along with all of you on new challenges such as building the next generation of space launch vehicles and spacecraft to take humans to uh, farther out into the solar system than ever before. We're getting the most of our investment along with all of you again uh, from the International Space Station, a truly incredible, incredible research facility in space and creating new economic opportunities for private companies around the world to deliver cargo and crew to space and making sure that NASA's science missions like the James Webb Space Telescope, which is an international effort, again, um, as well as our aeronautics research, stays on the cutting edge. As I've said before many times, international cooperation not only contributes to the success of our missions, but it's actually a prerequisite for the success of any space agency in the world today. The IAA has done so much in these past 52 years to promote, to promote international cooperation, and it continues to do so throughout research symposia and the follow-on activities from that 2010 summit. The qualities of the international leadership, which the IAA stands for, are exemplified by my dear friend, the one you honored tonight with the Von Karman Award, Jean-Jacques Dordain. 
he has truly earned this distinction. Uh, on a personal note, I must say how proud I am to be here with uh, a person with whom I have traveled around the world much since becoming the NASA Administrator, uh, Michael Brian Obi, as we called him, as he was became a, a new member of uh, IAA. Uh, and I also offer, and I know I'm being, I should not be partial, but a colleague of mine from the astronaut office from a number of years, I won't say many, a number of years ago, uh, the Honorable Steve McLean, president of CSA, for uh, his induction tonight also. So um, it has been a great evening for all of us. In closing, let me thank the IAA president, uh, President Nair, Secretary General Conant, Conant and their leaders, for their leadership throughout this past year. I look forward to, dis to continuing the discussions that we have had and the discussions that we will have at this International Astronautical Conference. Good evening to all of you. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy cafe very soon, but congratulations to all of the new inductees. Thank you. And now we would like to make a little surprise to Jean-Jacques. So I would like to call for a family photo Joanne Dietrich Werner, Marius Pizzo, Keji Tashikawa, Yuri Alexeyev, come on. <laughs> Isaac Ben Israel, Raimondo Braga Coelho Jose, Francisco Media Jimenez, Enrico Sadjese, Steve McLean, Gerhard Borg, and Talgat Musabayev. <laughs>